once you do that, then you are deceiving. Okay? So, some false preachers today, they will offer you a, a soft gospel in exchange for healing and money. They preach to you what you want to hear, but then they, they get your money. Okay? Prosperity doctrine. If you want to be healed, just give me your thousand dollars. God will heal you. And they preach you the gospel that you want to hear. Okay? Be careful. There's a lot on Facebook about this kind of gospel, and people are clicking amen. And, you know, we should be able to discern the difference. Amen? That this is a false gospel. Okay, let, let's go to the next one. You will hear of wars and rumors of wars. It's already happening. See that you are not troubled, for all these things must come to pass. But the end is not yet. It means the end is near, but not yet. So when you hear of rumors of wars, uh, do not be disturbed. Nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and there will be famines. Well, that's a different category. Let's stop here. The rise of wars, nations against nation. Okay. Uh, I don't believe the news anymore. There's a lot of propaganda in the news. Mm -hmm. I want to know the truth. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to know the real cause of the war mm -hmm. in Ukraine. There's a lot of fake news, propaganda news. Well, it's been eight months, nine months now, and it's getting worse. Okay? Mm -hmm. It can get worse, believe me. It can lead to a nuclear escalation. Uh, you know, if, if, if the Lord allows it, it will happen. Mr. Putin is a servant of God, just as the Antichrist is. If God allows this, you know, the whole world is supporting Ukraine. Why can't they destroy Russia? Only God knows why. But you know, there's a lot of, uh, in Europe, uh, Germany, Fran uh, France, England, there's a lot of mass protests. Brussels, people are protesting by the thousands, tens of thousands of protesters. You know what, what they are protesting? They can't afford gas, they can't afford food. They can afford heat. Mm. Right. Mm. There's no gas in Europe because all their gas comes from Russia. So they're going to freeze. They have to buy it somewhere where it's expensive. You know, the natural gas. So now they pay double the food, interest rates. Here it's not much. There is, but you don't feel it. I mean, it's still tough mm -hmm. because your your two hundred thousand before, if you're counting on that for retirement, it's just like one hundred twenty thousand now in value, mm -hmm. right? So don't count on your if you have three hundred thousand in the bank, don't count on that because that's worth nothing now. Look at the cards; it's fifty thousand brand new, sixty thousand. They used to be in the thirties. Right? Dollars. Yeah. 40, now it's double. So you're, don't count, if you have 100,000, that's nothing. That's just like 50,000 now. Right? If you just buy one whole chicken, Nando's, it used to be $17. Now it's 27. <laughs> so your 100K won't go a long way. Tago mo na lang, sister. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Miracle, ni Lord. No? I can't afford to buy a new car. Mm -hmm. Right? My view is 2,000 priests. 200. I didn't have Grand Forks. Hallelujah. Amen. Survive. It's a survivor. Praise God. Hallelujah, God's car. Amen. So can you imagine buying a $60,000 brand new? Your, your 800 pen, private pension a month will just go there. You'll be crazy if you buy a car. Mm, that's right. right? You'll be throwing away $800 a month. That's your private pension. Mm -hmm. 
So how are you going to eat? <laughs> right? So this is the effect of the war. Uh, mm -hmm. So the question is, why is God not stopping this? He can if he want, but he's not. Yeah. You can pray every day. It's been nine months since the war started. Nice. Yeah. That means God is not stopping the war. Mm -hmm. What did Jesus say? Well, don't be troubled. You know, there will be nations against nation. There will be rumors of wars. Uh, all these things must come to pass. All these things must happen. That's what Jesus said. All these things must happen. Amen. Amen. See, so when I reply to those religious prayers on Facebook, instead of praying for salvation, Repentance, they're asking God to protect them, but they're not interested in repentance. I mean, there's nothing wrong with the prayer, it's the, the person who wrote the prayer. Mm. Right? You should just write on Facebook, Lord, have mercy on our sins, forgive us. Amen. We repent of our sin Amen. because you can come again anytime and it will be heaven or hell. Not just, Lord, save us from the war. That's a consumer prayer. It's a consumer gospel. So maybe we can, we can comment with this. Jesus said, do not be troubled because all these things must happen. Nine months. See, after the Ukraine, next is China. <laughs> you think it will end? China already set the date by 2027, they must have Taiwan, right? And the U.S., I think, Elam. <laughs> we will defend, okay, you want to go World War III? You intervene. It's up to God. Well, you know, it's hard to ignore these things because nations will be against nations, right? So anyway, let's just be ready. Okay, there will be famines, pestilences, earthquakes in various places. Now we have typhoons right. in the Philippines. Disasters, earthquakes in various places. Have you heard about the stampede in Korea? Yeah, yeah. more than 100. Yeah. How many is the death count now? I just saw it last night and I was shocked. Satan's party killed, as of last night, 147, 147 people. Satan is a festival. Yeah, Satan's party killed 147 people. We don't celebrate Halloween. No. We don't believe in it. No, it's Satanist festival. Well, you know what? Even by saying this, I can cause division in the church. To tell you honestly. Matitira lang dito tatlo. If I preach on Halloween, I will have three followers after the sermon. Yeah. Satan is first of all. Why did God allow this? Can you imagine this? Halloween party in Seoul, Korea, attended by a hundred thousand people. Yeah. Yeah. Tourists from all over the world. This is how popular it is? Is this how popular this Halloween party is? A hundred thousand people? All the hotels are booked? Jesus party not popular. I'd rather go to Carameos <laughs> next year. <laughs> Amen? Amen? Safe! Then vlog the cherries. You know? <laughs> Safer. And the blueberries. Amen. You will have 1,000 views the next day. Safer. <laughs> and you're safe. Yeah. Amen? Yeah. Uh, what, 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 is it, what, is, what is special in this Halloween party where you know, people wear you know, costumes that look like the devil? And then, you know, stampede, people had cardiac arrest, you know. 
can you imagine if you're squeezed by you know ten thousand people yeah. from all sides, tens of thousands of people, you're squeezed. And if it's your time, you know, you're at the wrong place at the wrong time, if it's your appointed time to die, there's nothing you can do. And here's the problem. I doubt if those people who died had the opportunity to pray to Jesus mm -hmm. or even heard the gospel. Mm -hmm. yeah. All of a sudden, they are facing God with their Halloween costume. Angry God. An angry God. They're standing before an angry God wearing Satan's costume. Oh, yung tatlo, may aalis pa dalawa, isa lang matitira dito. <laughs> oh, you know what? Remember my brand, I am an evangelist, right? I'm not here to please people, I'm here to preach Tickling the truth. Tickling ears, no, tickling ears. Okay, this is my final mission from God, to preach the gospel. So, I don't do this to offend or to irritate people, to, to insult. It's just, we need to realize that you know, this can be satanic, you know. Satanic. What if Satan killed those people? Mm -hmm. <clears throat> Remember, he, he came to steal, to kill, and to destroy. What if it's one of your kids? Yeah. You know the people who died are late, night, late teens and early 20s? Yeah. What if it was Sam and Crystal and your wife? Yeah, what if three of my kids died there? Yeah, celebrating okay. Satan. Yeah, right? What if I'm a backsliding dad who can't even discern, who did not raise my kids properly? And you bring them there. What if this is God's judgment for sin for the world? Mm -hmm. What if God is grieved by this Satanist party? Ito naman Pilipinas, gaya gaya. Wala namang halo ni sa atin ng 80s eh. All Saints Day lang. Wala. Oh. They're doing it? Meron doon yung totoong multo. Hindi yung nagmumulto-multo. Totoong multo, meron sa buro. Oh God. Ginagawa din? Wow. So, yeah, I know. Is God warning the world to be careful of Halloween? Is God warning the world? Mm -hmm. Will the world repent or will the world harden their hearts? Mm -hmm. Will Christians repent of their lukewarmness and compromise or they will get angry with their pastor? <laughs> Either or. <laughs> right. Remember, I've got nothing to lose this time. <laughs> right? Preach it, pastor. Preach it. Money is not what motivates me to do this job. Preach. Amen. I've been enduring my low income for the last 20 years. Thank you, Lord. The Lord Amen. Provides, yeah. It's not money that makes me suffer. Something else makes me suffer. You know that, right? <laughs> not money. Thank you, Lord. Amen. I just God. I just came to know something about my. I can do any. I can endure anything in life Amen. until the end. Amen. Amen. It's just sometimes there's conflicts that are hard to endure. But anyway, let's move on. Uh, <clears throat> all these are the beginning of sorrows. You know, I, I posted uh, some uh, videos on my Facebook profile. You know, the, the, the short video on, of the stampede. Hmm. You know, like tens of thousands of people like squeezing each other, move, moving slowly. You know, oh. it's like being, you know... It's like they're being compressed to death, you know, strangulated to death, constricted to death, you know. It's like being uh, constricted by a, a snake, you know, mm. right? A, a, a big snake, a constrictor snake, right? Yeah, can you imagine tens of thousands of people? How much pressure is that? That will kill you. So the, the traumatic uh, uh, scene there after the stampede is, you know, lots of people on the ground, you know, bystanders applying CPR. Mm -hmm. Right? Because they have cardiac arrest. So all these are the beginning of sorrows. It's a national sorrowful day in Korea. So the president had an emergency meeting, right? 
Okay, so all these things are the beginning of sorrows. Why, are, why is God allowing sorrows? Why? Religious people don't like a God who is like this. He allowed it. You know that religious people worship a different Jesus? Are you able to discern that? Mm -hmm. yep. The Jesus that I'm worshiping is the Jesus of the Bible. Amen. Kahit yung grupo natin, iba-ibang Jesus minsan eh. Sa bawat natin, every church. You think they all worship the same Jesus? Mm -hmm. I don't think so. Mm -hmm. Remember, people have developed their own versions of Jesus in their minds. Right? But this is the Jesus that I believe. He will come back again the second time. Jesus predicted all these things. It's not that Jesus cannot heal, cannot save, cannot bless. He can. Remember, he multiplied the bread. He healed the lame. He can do that. But also, he's a God of justice. Uh, he's a God of wrath. Mm -hmm. Right? So I want to present you the full Jesus of the Bible. Not just the merciful Jesus, but the righteous Jesus who will judge Amen. sinners. Amen. Amen. Okay. The beginning of sorrows. They will deliver you to tribulation, verse 9, and kill you and will be hated by all nations for my sake. How do you know if you are a true disciple of Jesus Christ? Well, we, we have a series on that. What is a disciple of Jesus Christ? Just recently, right? Well, is the world persecuting you? Is the world killing you? Is the world hating you for Jesus' sake? Remember what Jesus said in John 15? If the world hated me, they will also hate you. Mm -hmm. A servant is not greater than the master. If they persecuted the master, they will persecute the followers, the disciples. And yet, consumer Christians don't want persecution. They don't want suffering. They don't want sermons like this. So, who do they listen to? Joe Lustin, Joyce Mayer. Mm -hmm. Kenneth Copeland. Are they saved? I don't think so. To tell you honestly, I don't think so. They're deceived. Yep. Remember what Jesus said? Many will come in my name, false teachers. Uh, a lot of warning from Jesus about false teachers. Walls, they come to you like walls in sheep clothing. And by their fruits you shall know them. know them. By their fruits you shall know them. You know, Joel Lestine was interviewed on national TV and was asked, is Jesus the only way to heaven? He could not, he avoided answering that. Is Jesus the only way to truth? And, uh, and then another question was, is homosexuality sin? He's trying to grasp for words. Mm -hmm. You want to listen to him? Go ahead. You'll be deceived. Mm -hmm. Is that what Jesus thought? What did Jesus say about divorce, adultery, and homosexuality? You go to hell. Right? Did not Jesus say, I am the way, the truth, and the life? No one can come to me. No one can come to the Father except by me. Right? So, <clears throat> if you are pers being persecuted, it's, it's because Satan knows you are a genuine Christian. Right? Thank you, Lord. It's because Satan knows you are born again, you're saved you have the spirit of God he doesn't like you of course he, he likes to deceive he wants to make the, the world religious if he can make the world religious Satan will be very happy because they're deceived, right? 
Okay, let's continue to read. Many will be offended, will betray one another, and will hate one another. Well, relationships will deteriorate. The love of many will grow cold. They will betray one another. Many will be offended. Okay, these are the signs of the end times. Many false prophets will rise up and deceive many. Lawlessness will abound, you know, sin, the world will get weaker, uh, more, the world will get more wicked, more and more wicked, okay? The love of many will grow cold, yeah, people will be loveless in the end times. But he who endures to the end shall be saved, amen. I believe we can endure until the end because the Spirit of God is living in us. Amen? Amen? That's my confidence. That's my hope. I have the Spirit of God in me. I will survive until my last breath. Until the end, I will die a Christian, a believer. Amen? Praise God. True believers, genuine believers who have the Spirit of God will endure until the end. Amen. They will, in other words, they will, they will believe until the very end. Okay? Because the Spirit of God is in them. God will finish the work of salvation in them. The salvation that God began in 87 in my life, God will finish it until the very end. Amen. And, and this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to the world as a witness to all the nations and then the end will come. Okay, this is important. Jesus said, this gospel will be preached in all the world as a testimony, as a witness to all nations, and then the end will come. Praise God. There's one more verse here uh, that says, everyone will hear the gospel. Where's that? Anyway, let's just stop right there. Okay. This gospel will be preached in all the world. How is that possible? Internet. The internet. Technology, yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, praise the Lord. The internet. Mm -hmm. Amen, amen, amen. Yeah. yeah. I need to be smart in preaching. Okay. Amen. Uh, I noticed that if you make a 30 second short video, there will be 900 people in one day, maybe thousands. Mm -hmm. uh, I made a video of Peace Arch on YouTube, 30 seconds, 30 seconds. Uh, I was on the British Columbia side. And then I said, as soon as I cross that white monument, I'll be crossing in to Washington State. <laughs> That's easy, yeah. And it must be over a thousand views now. <laughs> See, you yeah. can present the gospel in 30 seconds. Amen. It's doable. Right? Yeah. Yeah. You know, Matthew, sorry, John 5, 24, John chapter 5, verse 24, Jesus said, anyone... If anyone hears the word, the gospel, and believes in me, has everlasting life. Will have everlasting life. He will not be judged. He will not come into judgment. And have crossed, have passed from death to life. Okay, let me read that to be exact. You know, in 30 seconds you can do this. Try it. Most assuredly, I say to you, he who hears my word and believes in him who sent me has everlasting life and shall not come into judgment, 
but has passed from death to life. Mm -hmm. That's the red line. Mm -hmm. Okay, I'm here on the side of darkness, <laughs> right? All I have to do is believe in Jesus. Then you're across the other side. Right? Jesus said, if you believe in me, in the gospel, you will not come into judgment, you will pass from death to life. So from death, I will be passing to life. Hallelujah. From eternal life. Condemnation to eternal life. From eternal death to eternal life. All I have to do is believe in Jesus. He who believes in me has everlasting life. It's as simple as crossing this monument. Mm. Right? Yeah. But the thing is, when the world hears it, ah, <laughs> they shut it down right away. As soon as they hear the word, the name Jesus, they're not interested. <laughs> That's fine. I, I already know that. I already know that. That's no problem to me. But I also know that there are billions of people in the world. And there could be 5, 10, 20 out there who has heard this for 30 seconds and will believe in Jesus. Amen? Amen. 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 So we're going to keep doing this. Amen? Amen? So now I'm trying to make my sermon in such a way that if you just listen to me for a minute, I want to make sure you get something from the Word of God. That's why I need to mention salvation again and again and again. Amen. Amen. In my sermons, right? Amen. Okay, so Jesus will come back. There will be judgment. If you do not believe in Him, Jesus said, if you do not believe that I am the Son of God, you will die in your sins. You will come into judgment. That means eternal lake of fire, eternal condemnation. But if you believe, you will have everlasting life. So we will keep on preaching the gospel to the world because this is our final calling. Amen. Uh, this gospel shall be preached to all the world. Right? Verse 14, Jesus said, go into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. This is a calling. Amen. So now I understand why I received that prophecy in 1989. Because if I didn't get that prophecy, mm -hmm. this church would have closed down at the start of this year. Yeah. You know what the lawyer told me last year? We can't just give them all your money. And they will <laughs> let you walk free. Let's make a deal with them. Mm. It's like a love offering to appease them. Can we give you 150000 Just let us walk free. Hmm. Legally. You could have done that. At the beginning of this year. When everybody walked out, I could have walked out too. Don't you know that? Possible, yeah. Yeah. But you know, the prophecy kept me alive in the ministry. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Praise God. So not done yet. Now my ministry has changed. Amen? Now God spoke to me, you know, this gospel of the kingdom will be preached to the world. Thank you, Lord. To the world. Thank you, Lord. To the world. Amen. As a testimony. Now the best way to get 5,000 views is to go at the top of Mount Kananaskis. <laughs> I can't them. bring Gina there. Just me. Amen. And then at the edge of the cliff, I will preach the gospel to the world. <laughs> With your camera. In 30 seconds. With your camera. Amen. 5,000 will hear the gospel right away. Mm -hmm. With the view. Yeah. Right? See, I can't do that in church. I can't. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. Remember, this is Jesus. what Jesus said. This gospel shall be preached to all the world. And then the end will... Come. That's all here. Amen. This gospel shall be preached to all the world and then the end will come. Ten minutes. Amen. Okay, so where's that verse? Anyway, let's I'll I'll continue this next time. I'll show you more verse where Jesus said 
this gospel must be preached to all the world of every creature. Because it's part of God's plan before the second coming. Amen? It's part of God's plan that the world hears the gospel. And I believe in Ukraine. Uh, I sometimes ask, why are these things happening in Ukraine? One third of their power facility, their hydro, has been destroyed by missiles, drones. So four million people don't have, they're gonna go, go through the winter and freeze. Without heat. Without heat. Four million people. That's terrible, isn't it? Uh, there's no water, no electricity, no heat. Why is God allowing these things? Allowing them to and you know, I found out that Ukraine is a very religious country. Yeah. Yeah. They're very strictly religious. You know what they are? They, they, I think most of them are... Uh, just like the Russian, they, they have the Russian Orthodox. I think their mainstream religion is Orthodox. They, they have a lot of relics, uh, idols, ritual. Mm -hmm. You know God hates religion? That's right. He hates idols. Now, how many Christians are there in church, inside the born again church, who are also religious? I'm not saying this to offend, okay? I'm calling people to have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ. Amen. Amen. Maybe here's my my analysis. Maybe God allowed this in Ukraine because they are very religious. They have to call on the real God, on Jesus Christ. Amen. Right? They have to call. He who calls on the name of the Lord Jesus shall be saved. No. They don't? No. But what do they believe? <laughs> Just no. God? Yeah. Just God. Yeah. Wow. So that's the problem. The Pharisees, the, 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 the religious establishment that crucified Christ believed in God. They said they believe in Moses and Abraham. They are but not in Jesus. the Old Testament, but they crucified Christ. They are the enemies of the gospel. Amen. Deception. Deception. Yeah. And, uh, you know, even, even I have a lot of relatives in the Catholic religion and in the tradition when we have a loved one who died, we pray for nine days, 40 days. And, and we, we did pray for, you know, I was there when my family prayed for my parents. And I was looking at the paper, the prayers. Yeah. They prayed to Rosary. Yeah. Virgin of Mary, they prayed to the saints. To, to save the soul of my dad. You know. saved, they prayed yeah. to Virgin Mary to save the soul of my dad. I know it's very hard to remove religious convictions, traditions. Uh, yeah. Can be broken. Jesus name. But you know, I'm glad that my family is beginning to say they believe in Jesus. They believe that Jesus is the Savior. They're coming to that realization. Amen. Uh, sometimes they're just doing it for the sake of tradition. Right? Ritual. But at least they're saying they're beginning to question the religious establishment because of corruption. You know, the yeah. Corruption. The killing. The killing of the children here in Canada by the Jesuits, right? Mm -hmm. and, and even the Vatican has billions and billions of you know, they can go to war with Russia. Do you know that? They, are, they have money. They have money. <laughs> Russia is bankrupt <laughs> because of the war. They have a lot of money. What are they doing with their money? Mm -hmm. Right? Oh, we don't have money here. <laughs> we have, we yes. Don't provide. <laughs> we have money. Good answer. <laughs> Don't be negative. Pastor. Because our money is invisible. You know that? <laughs> invisible. If you look at my wallet, there's no bill. Really? There's no bill. It's all cards. It's invisible. <laughs> it's in your house. <laughs> we have money, that's right. 
God's money. It's just you can't find your money somewhere. <laughs> Not cash. Because it's invisible. <laughs> you don't sleep though. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. By the way, God is good. All the time. You know, we have eternal treasures in heaven. Amen. So we will finish our race. We will keep helping our missions partners in the Philippines. This is our commitment to them. Um, Amen. You know, we're one of our partners is watching us, the sister Raylene. Yeah, Pastor Praise Raylene. God, thank you. So it's what time? They're in the morning now, four o'clock, two o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. They're watching. Yeah. So people here are still sleeping. Right? <laughs> And then they're going to watch me noontime, and by the time they wake up, it's noontime. <laughs> Delayed telecast. <laughs> so that's the beauty of Facebook. You can watch me next year if you want, you know, next month, next week. If the Lord doesn't come yet. If the Lord doesn't come yet, you're lucky. <laughs> Amen. Okay. But hope, so here's my art final. Let's get ready for the second coming of Jesus Christ. Because Jesus said, when you see these things, the end know that the end is coming near. near. Yeah. And not only that, you can be one of the people who died in Korea. Not ready. Yeah. That means if you died one of the dead in Korea, you lost that eternal life. Yeah. There's no hope for the dead. Those who die without Christ, there's no hope for them. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Mm -hmm. Now is the time we believe in the Lord Jesus and to surrender to Him. Let's pray. Amen. Thank you, Heavenly Thank you, Lord. Father. Thank you, Lord. We know that we can die driving our car. We can have a vehicular accident and die. We can fall down the stairs and die. Uh, seniors fall down the stairs. We can have stroke, heart attack, uh, aneurysm attack. We can. Anything, anytime, anywhere, things can go wrong and we can die. And if we're not ready for Jesus, then we have no eternal life. So I pray today for those who heard the gospel, that they will believe in the Lord Jesus. The things that are happening in the world are God's warning. Warning to the world that we must come to believe in the Lord Jesus. Jesus said, if you believe the gospel, John 5, 24, if you believe the word, if you believe in me, you will have everlasting life. You will not come into judgment, but you will cross from death to life. In other words, from the kingdom of darkness, you will be crossing to the kingdom of light. From the kingdom of Satan, you are crossing to the kingdom of Jesus Christ. You are becoming a child of God. If you believe in Jesus, you will become a child of God. Believe in the Lord Jesus. Repent of your sins. Don't just practice religion. Be a true disciple, willing to suffer, willing to pay the price of hardship, persecution, and endurance. Don't just be a consumer Christian. Believe, repent, be serious because we're living in dangerous times. The war can get serious, can escalate. If there's a nuclear exchange, the U.S. will be hit. We're all going to die in Vancouver. It's easy as that. It's as simple as that. So, Lord, we commit our souls into your hands in the mighty, mighty name of Jesus Christ. Bless the hearers. Save them, we pray. Let the word be sown in their hearts in Jesus' name.